So during the last few years, I've had a chance to work with and to learn from some of the best coaches in the world. And today, I'm learning from a World Cup winner and a coach to a major champ. Hi guys, Peter Finch here and welcome down to this Quest for the Open special video where I'm joined by two world-class coaches. Of course, you may recognise Sir Clive Woodward of England rugby fame and Team GB fame and Gizzly and other sports fame. And then Dan Grief, who's basically stuck to one sport, but he's coaching a major champion. And there's me in the middle. Yeah, let's find out and learn some stuff, shall we? So we've come out onto the Duchess course, which is potentially the tightest golf course in the entire world. So it should be interested to see what actually happens out here. Now we've got five holes left on this nine. So what do you want to play? Skins? Yeah, skins. Yeah. Skins? Sure. <laughs> we'll play Keep skins. It friendly. Keep it friendly. We'll play skins, five holes. God, it's so tight. It's a bit more room left here, Pete, than it looks. That's the side. A bit more room left than it looks. Yeah. You tell me or you say? There we go. So I tell myself. <laughs> oh, that's that's right, Dan. That should be far enough right to give me a shot in. <laughs> Left. It's right. Ah, uh, that's the new the mini original mini. one. Now, generally speaking, I can't miss a fairway with it. <laughs> very, very generally speaking. Okay. Come on. But well, well, I wanted to have me. a chat with you guys. <laughs> yeah, so. <keep> <laughs> yeah. Basically, I just wanted to make filming just a little bit easier. So I'm going to head over, head over to the right hand side of this hole. No, that's all right. Tell well, you what, mate. I was pretty through the gap. <laughs> <laughs> that was really very right it. <laughs> okay, John. Well. Here's the thing. I don't know how far I am. I don't know where the green is. And I'm completely blocked out by the trees. So, so let's, so I know how to play this shot, John. I've got my, I've got my 50 degree wedge. I think that should be all right. And I'm going. You've got to flirt with that tree. Going that way. I'm just going to go that way, John. It's, it's, it's not that big of a deal. I can actually, you know, I can actually see the pin. Can I, I can actually see the pin. It's going to be a wedge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it could actually be really good if the distance is right. That's on a little bang online. It's all about the club now. <laughs> really good, actually. That's a great shot. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. These two wouldn't say it. I'm going to go either go on a 90% air theory here or try and hit it 60 foot high off a bare lie because Pete's probably on the green. I think I've got to take this on, but otherwise I'd definitely be chipping out there. Yeah. YouTube golf. YouTube been. golf, yeah. yeah. That is very bare, okay. What did I say? Look high to hit it high. A little heavy. There you go, we can still make four. How have you got that through? There you go, put for a four. Same style. How did you get that through? That's yeah, good. nice chip, Clive. You can good. have that one, Clive. Thank you. We'll start off friendly. If the, if the game's tight by the, uh, by the last hole. <laughs> Right, well, this I'll will feel, be the mother of all falls as right. well. It's a, bit of fall. a little bit of pressure on you then. Break chance. Break chance. Break as well. chance. Get in. No. Oh. 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 Good Whoa, chance. Two for it then. I'd have been happy for you. At the same yeah. time, maybe I won't. I'm yeah. not sure. In all fairness, how many Go shots on. are we giving Clive? Clive's a, one, a, a hole. one a hole. 
<laughs> you were right, he's funny. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Right. that's four. <laughs> um, there's, there's definitely one on this hole. I'm going to do two. Two. Okay. Can we choose when we have them? Oh, yes, we'll, you we'll can. Choose. You this can. One. The only, only on the tee. Ah, we didn't discuss that properly, did we? That's a, that's a pity. Oh, Ooh, what a birdie. Okay. Literally the most I ridiculous birdie. That, right that was like, that was... That Impressive. Was <laughs> that was so, I would say a quite incredible first haul with possibly one of the best birdies ever made on camera. And I think we'll all agree. Um, and part of this video is just trying to learn from you guys and kind of the knowledge that you've accumulated over your career so mm -hmm. far. So Dan, if we start with you, certainly with what you've done with Georgia Hall, so last year's uh, British Open champ. So what are the things you've actually learned from working with a major champ? Because you've worked with her for three or four years now, haven't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, I think, I think the most striking thing, Pete, is actually when, when you work with some of the world's best players, it's, it's how disciplined they are on staying on a particular course, which, which, com which comes from obviously the coaching and direction they've got. So they've got a really consistent plan. So they don't get into this, what I call the hamster wheel approach, where they're going round and round and round and round, uh, trying different things, speaking to different people. It takes a lot of discipline, especially when you, know, you have a few bad weeks. You've got to keep, keep on that same plan, practicing the same things and, and really working off, off consistent basics. And it's almost the better the player, the more they really respect those, those basics and really trying to make those world class. And it's almost like I see people fiddling and trying different things the further down the ranks they go in the professional and certainly into the amateur game. So I think it's cr crucial to stay on course and don't panic if it goes wrong a little bit. Yeah, that's something that certainly I see a lot and I hear a lot on kind of social media as well about people who say, oh, you know, I've been, I've been trying this move, I, w I went for a range session but it's not working, and then give up. Yeah. And then it's gone. Because you get this sort of find it, lose it sort of syndrome going on where it works for a couple of weeks and it doesn't work. And then ultimately, a of holes and then that's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, and that's no good for long term at all. So, you, you've got to really, you know, the, the best players stick to the plan, they've got the discipline to do it, uh, no matter what, really. Obviously, sometimes that plan needs to change a little bit, but it's done in, in collaboration with the coach. And another thing I really notice is that their, their IQ, their golfing IQ, I call it, is it's just exceptionally strong. So they're always learning, always keen to learn more. And the biggest compliment as a coach that I, I get paid is when, when players go to a tournament and they're not texting me every five minutes or sending me videos every five minutes because I know when a player starts doing that that I know that perhaps I haven't quite done my job right because when, when they go off to, to play in a tournament, I want to make sure they're totally prepared and ready to go when they don't have too many technical thoughts going on. They've got their key thoughts, but nothing, they haven't got to the, not to sort of scramble that with their brain how they're sort of considering uh, what they need to work on. So 500, pretty much, yeah, 500 yard mm -hmm. par five, but it's just a corridor of death by pine <laughs> down there. So got to be, got to be straight. However, confidence is high after that last hole. I feel that I can do no wrong. Mini driver is not making appearance on this hole. <laughs> this is all about the big stick. I'm going to let it ride. Yeah, that's perfect. Golf shot. There we go. Oh. Go on, Dan, you go. Oh. Great shot. For this climb, under pressure here. It's not, yep. it's not very often I get a perfect. I'm going to well, take that to the bank. There you go. I'm doing that. Nice. Nice drive. There we go. Shot, Dan. Thank you. Dan's coming out to play now. He's got to now. He's got that steely look in his eye now. Yeah, yeah we're, not, we're not happy at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, oh, great. Awesome. There we go. So Clive's left himself about two, three, five. It's just a four iron normally, but. It is a bit cold, isn't it? A little bit into wind, a little bit cold. Oh, yeah, good shot. Great just shot. Just got to miss that bunker. Skip. 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 You got, oh, you've got, you got the lovely long bunker shot now. Oh, yeah, great strike. Are you in? Really good strike. I think so. Yeah. Right. Are you going in with the... I feel like the wind's it's into the wind a bit, though. It's it? kind of into off the right. It's, it is cold. It's it is cold. I'm going to go three wood. <laughs> go three wood? I'm going to hit three wood. I'm going to try and move it in a little bit from the left. 
Kind of hold it back up into hold it. Hold into it, yeah. It's a very professional shot. There we go. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> oh, uh, double cross. Bit of a it's got to be cross, soft. But it's okay over there. Okay, it's up there. It's all right to miss over there, I think, isn't it? It's okay. Oh, uh, stayed there. Go in. It's all right, I love bumpers. It's a favourite place to be. Shot. Great shot. That was a great shot. Oh! There you go, that a chance of the four. Is awesome. <laughs> that was so good. There we go. Out the ferns, over the deepest bunker on the course, lands it on the fringe, rolls it out. There you go, that's what it's about. Short game, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> that was disgracefully good, that. Kick. Oh, good kick. Oh, I need another straight, yard. I it was gonna Two yards. Go a little bit more right. What yeah, a, good. What a four that is. Four. I won't wow. take my shot. <laughs> uh, you go, Darrell. Yeah. That was ridiculous. So I need this then to share the skin. Oh yeah, I don't even know what the skins is, but it's looking good. Ooh, Ooh hooks across the hole. Pick it up. Right, come on, Pete, I need to get this then. Damn, that would have been an all-timer, that one as well. Stay up. Oh! Clive, one to you. Oh. I'll give you that. Well, as annoying as that is, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dan's just been telling us there's an old 2,000-year-old Viking Danish wall that runs through the middle. As far as protections of a green go, that's pretty impressive. Oh, tried to work it right to left, it stayed. It's woven kick out. It's the thing with this course, like you are just a little bit off and it ain't gonna give you anything. Mind you, I have also seen, so we've seen that up and down from Clive on the last hole, but also when we are filming some slow-mos before, he almost made the most ridiculous up and down I've ever seen in my life. So we're definitely not writing you out of this one. Oh, all right, a four iron. Quite sure this is going to be enough with the wind, but. Yeah, it's a good swing. Go on then. Oh, look at this. Go on. Ooh, Great shot. It's it's on its way. It's, isn't it's it? not. It's not as close as it looks. It's definitely. <laughs> Great shot. It's definitely a little bit shorter. Trust me. Yeah. If that had any chance of going in on that line. <laughs> <laughs> I, won't, I won't be still on this tee. I'll be sprinting down there. I'll be vaulting the old Danish wall to try and get closer. That's good. Oh, hold ball. up, hold up. Sure. Oh, the, Just sure. See that wall? Soft. Soft. Nice shot. Sit. Oh, there Still we go. Going. And Ooh. sure, wow. Got it. Good. Two putt. So Clive, with obviously your breadth of knowledge, you know, you've, you've not got, you've not got a night up for no reason for all the sports that you've actually worked through. What are like, kind of two characteristics that you see with some of the best performance in the world. I know it's quite broad kind of brush, but is sure. there anything that you can... Oh, listen, I've been really lucky, I mean, especially with the, the, the rugby team, work with amazing players, you know, Johnny Wilkinson, Martin Johnson, Delalio. But then the Olympic team, which is, you know, male and female, from Rebecca Adlington um, to Chris Hoy to all sorts of amazing, amazing people. And, you know, there is, when you're lucky enough to work with them closely, there is a common theme. And one, one of my favourite sayings to anyone is, is talent alone is not enough. What, what, what you see is, Yes, they've got a huge amount of talent, these, these people, but they, because of the, the, the whole way they work, but the, the biggest thing is they are complete what I call sponges. They're learning all the time. They, they don't just accept what the coach says. They want to understand why they're doing this 
and really learn. You know, and I, my big thing to when I'm coaching any individual, you know, the moment you stop learning, you're going to come second, mm -hmm. because the person you're competing with, they're learning, and it could be you know how to do things and about the, the sport and the shot. That, that that's the biggest thing I see that that goes across them all. They're, they're like that with their coaches. They really work with them. That they want the knowledge, they want the understanding, they want to know what they're actually doing. So that's the, th the first thing. I think the second thing when you're working at the, the kind of top level at Olympic Games and World Cups, you still have the word pressure. I mean, pressure is a, it's, it's a much used word, but uh, you know, I, I absolutely believe the real champions thrive under pressure. They kind of almost, that's what they live for, this one moment in time, because to have that six foot putt to win the British Open, you know, to, 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 to be an Olympic final or World Cup final, the, the key thing about pressure to me is you can you can coach pressure. I don't think people are born to play a performance ah, of pressure. I was going to ask that if you did believe that yeah, people yeah, born I, like that or is it no, something you can work on? No, I, I don't think anyone's born to play under pressure. I think it's something you can absolutely coach people. And you know, yeah, I do it in various ways, but the the, the biggest thing is what you've got to do in, in, under the, the pressure thing is try and just almost on a daily basis, just try and, with, with the athletes you're working with, let's just go through, you know, let's just set up a scenario. What, how do we do it? How do we handle this? And the big thing about pressure is there must be nothing that kind of spooks you when this pressure thing arrives. You know, you could have this big putt. You know, what happens if um, you know some someone shouts from the from the sideline? What happens if you know somebody walks on or anything? You got to just train for all this stuff. And to me, the whole thing about pressure is if you can train harder uh, than you actually play. What, what I mean by that is you know, practice the really really awkward lies, the really awkward shots, and don't go in until you've you've nailed it. So you you, you got to practice harder than the actual game is and if you can do that pressure becomes kind of a, your friend because you think okay I've done this a million times from worse situations than this I've now got to do this under under the intense pressure to win but you see that's what they live for that's what they thrive on the same with the coach if you're the coach you want to be able to handle the pressure situation and make sure you've actually delivered so you know they're the two big things to me a passion for learning and you must never lose that if you lose that you might as well you're going to come second because the person you're competing with and really understand this word pressure and something that's, that's why we do it. We're hoping to be in that position one day where you've got this massive moment and can you deliver when it's all kicking off. So this is moving around the corner, is it? Yeah. That's an aggressive play, I like it. <laughs> Especially when you're two skins up. Well, I'm, I'm going to say I like it as well, but I'll, I'll tell you what, one thing about these tees, I do love how they line you up. Yeah. Oh. It's the little things. Too. It's the little things, mate. It is the little things. Danish walls. Tees that line you up. So it's that little slider. Shot. Try to move. Got to get yeah. down a little bit. Yeah, might be just yeah. the far side. That's good. Yeah, it's okay. Yep. Probably get a little bit more, but. Yep. It's the thing with me, John. Trying to slice, hit it straight. Trying to hit it straight, hit it slice. The wall's a cruel place. Don't always get what you want. Nice. Yeah, nice, nice swing. Right. Very good. Nice swing. There's a little bit of wind up there, right to left. See how it's blowing that squirrel across? <laughs> Strong breeze. Oh, there's a bit of a moisture slipped. slippage, that one. You slipped there. Oh, no. It's okay. It's that fine rain blowing around everywhere. Oh, oh straight at it. Great looking shot. Oh, yeah. kicking in as well. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I've got um, 136 yards. Feels like it's into slightly bare lie. So I'm going to play it a little bit lower, try and knock it down a little bit. There's a tree root as well to negotiate. Trouble. Oh, that looks pretty good as well. Yeah, it's drawing nicely. Stay there. Yeah, great shot. Oh, it's in there. You. There we go. A couple of chances. What have you got, Pete? Um, well, after Clive took his shot, I've got no chance. You've got to hold it, basically. <laughs> yeah, basically all I've got to do. Um, I've got 115. Uh, sorry, 113, but a little bit into wind, so I'm going to play my 115 yard shot. I'm just going to play it probably just to the left of the pin. Gonna get a little bit of spin just to the right. Lip, lip it or it'll go in. It's one of the two. I'm not overly picky, but one of those two is fine. Watch it go over that bank. Now, now, let's not talk about it. 
Oh, wow. Oh, drink that came out really weird. Oh. Well, the greens can be great too, Pat. Yeah, just. Ooh. I was, I was, I was half an inch away from doing my wrists again there. Well, John, this is what I like to call a double break, forty footer walk on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk into this. I'm going to be aiming about three foot left of the pin. It's going to go up the slope. It's going to break down to the right, and then it's going to curve back to the left. Snake, a snake of a putt. However. I'm feeling confident, literally nothing to lose because Clive's there for one. So just going up the bank, down the other side. Oddly fancy this, you know. Now that would have been amazing if it was my second shot. <laughs> wow, that... Uh, no way near high enough up that bank, man. Well, boys, this is going to be down to you two. It's on its way. Turning, it's turning. Ooh, oh, it just slipped away at the end, didn't it? Didn't hit it. Just a touch. So that's a four-three then. Yeah, that's so a four-three though. So this is this is to get the to take get the half and two take skins half, down yeah. the down the last. Have you got this down? I'm going to must be on a little right to left here. I think right right edge would be good. Yeah, hit it. Quality birdie. Come on, Dan. I'm very much teamed down on this shot. Oh, soft <laughs> Dan, soft not Oh, no. That's what it. Do you, can't be too angry. That was a good put. Just, just didn't. Just, just didn't go in. Yeah. <laughs> So going on to the last hole, everything to play for, but before we see how this match finishes up, Dan, if we just talk about a little bit, kind of leading on from what Clive was talking about, about the pressure, about how to actually stay in the moment, because this is something which I get asked so much about. When you're actually in that moment, when you are faced with that, you know, five foot or whatever it may be, how do you cope with that? How do you control that? I mean, it's very difficult and, and very few people can actually do it, firstly, that's the thing. That's really what separates the champions who, who, are, who are really able to do this. And they get so ruthlessly into this mindset where the only thing that matters is the next shot, which, you know, which Hogan famously said you know, years ago. And uh, what's gone before and what's to come is not important at all to, that, to those individuals. It is all about the process they've got to do to, to execute that shot. And it all comes back to understanding. So it's, it's great basics and trusting those basics and trusting all the hours practice you can hit that shot and it comes from the understanding and the, um, the ability to see the shot and, and, and hit that but not carry it through or, or, or carry in memories of the bad shot. Have you got any previously. particular kind of techniques for that because that's certainly something that I used to struggle with a lot and still do I mean every golfer does mm -hmm. you know hitting that bad shot how to then move on from that you know, is there anything that you've kind of done in the past with players to try and move past that and to try and stay in the present? Yeah, I mean, you try so many different things. I mean, so again, it's totally bespoke to the player, but I think the Tiger was one. He's always talked about the 10-yard rule. He's fantastic. He's allowed to think about and reflect on it for 10 yards, and once he passes that line, he's completely gone. He's moving to the next shot. But also, you know, making mistakes isn't actually a problem. I think that's the mindset people have to get into as well. You know, there's, there's a saying, you, you never lose, you either win or you learn. And um, we've, uh, we've got... Uh, Hashtag. There we are. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> and one, of, one of the things we actually coach uh, the, a lot of the, the Tea to Cup um, clients on is something called Tea Cup. And that's actually where the name Tea to Cup came from, by the way. Because Clive was famous for Tea hyphen Cup, which is thinking correctly under pressure. That's okay. what it stands for, okay? Oh, I didn't, this is... And this uh, is that's words correctly, can you... When the pressure things right, can you still think correctly, not clearly? Can you make the correct decision when this thing happens? Yeah, and obviously golfers play from the tee to cup, and that's where the name came from. But then we're just getting off track there. But but tee to cup, uh, sorry, tee cup is about yeah thinking correctly under pressure. And if you make a mistake, document it. So you go, we've got groups on on you get your own group on on the tee to cup software, and we encourage people to go in and say this this was a situation. You know, I was one up playing the last, and I hit the wrong shot, whatever it was. And next time it happens, I'm going to do this, and you write it down. You can go back over, you read it again. So there's no problem with making these mistakes. You just got to learn from it and move on. Awesome. What there a great go. drive. Brilliant. Good flight as well. That was a bullet. Just kept oh. it below the wind a bit. Oh, man. 
<laughs> Where's that just yeah. gone from? Oh, that's Ooh, low. There we go. Oh, there you go. That's on the footpath. Well, it was low. <laughs> Listen, I did 50% of what I wanted to do, and 50% you've got to be positive. Shot. Yeah, nice shot. Uh, so this might be another hole in me being very much teamed down. Sit, sit. Oh, it's got oh, a bad so kick. It. Ah, chunked oh, it. Oh, just dragged it. Just sit down. Touch. Stay there. Oh, sit, sit, sit. Ooh. That's chasing down left. Yeah. Oh my word. So I'll talk you through how to play out of a divot with Heather behind, with two pine trees in front, with six foot gap between them. We've got to play it low and hook it about thirty yards, Pete. <laughs> yeah. You got that in your locker? Yeah, I think you got this in your locker. Yeah. Look at size that gap. Yeah. You could fit. A restricted back soon as well. Maybe just a, two people through a bit there, of leafage okay. in the face. Not out. Got it's it okay. Heavy. Go on, keep going. Go. Keep going there. It's okay. You were laying up. You were laying up short on that, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah, of course you were. Into off the right. A bit of a slope right to left. It's pretty wet. I think I can throw this probably 66 really. Go on, go in. Go in, go in. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Chance of making the four. <laughs> sit down. Sit, sit, sit. Sit. Not bad from that. Uh, pretty good from there, that. So, the match as it stands. I've got two skins, Clive's got two. Now, at this moment in time, Clive is there for three shots, but he does have a shot, so technically he's there for two. So two puts will have him a five for a four. Yeah, not that. Good. That means <laughs> Dan's going to have this put to basically tie the match. But if Clive gets this skin, then, well, I guess we're never going to hear the end of it. He may have won the World Cup with England, but I think this probably means a little bit more to him. He may have been head of performance for Team GB at the most successful Olympic Games ever, but that is nothing right now to this put. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One look, back of the ball, lets it go. Down the hill, right to left. Has it got legs? Turn, has it got legs? Well. Oh, it did, it just didn't turn quite as much. Okay, pick it up. Take it away. You still need time to get this. Yeah, so. I need this one, yeah. We need. Yeah. Are you confident, P, after the cuts of it so far? I am. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> And in. Wow. There you go. That was a 360. <laughs> and the back lift out. Jeez, how many times are you going round? Oh, oh. Right. great fun. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good. Thanks, Peter. General, thank you very thank much. You. Well done. So, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And I just want to say a big thank you to you, Clive, as well. And a huge thank you to you, Dan, for yep. sharing that information, which I found very, very interesting. Hopefully, you guys have learned something as well. If you do want to find out more information about Tita Cup, so the platform these guys have built, please go into the description below and check that out. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, and please comment below on everything that you've seen in today's video. So, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.